And good morning, everyone. Welcome to my Minecraft world. I guess uh, I'm going to give you a bit of a demonstration and look on how it is. I'll just have a quick look. At my here we go. Have a nice uh, far render distance. This is my Minecraft world. Uh, I've been playing Minecraft for, uh, since it was in the alpha days. I think alpha one something or other. And uh, Anyway, this is uh, the world that I've been playing in the last mm, six months or so, I guess. Oh, well, not six months, but uh, I have no real concept of where, how long it's taken. This is my sort of, sort of pseudo-enchanting room uh, design. Uh, it's not finished. <laughs> so many unfinished projects. Uh, just a quick look around. Um, pen here for... Pigs and cows, nothing really too exciting. There's a lot of work that's been going on that's uh, this entire area, the mountain on the other side, you can just see those trees through there. All this was trees, my spawns just a little bit over there. Um, but at this time, this is uh, all I've done. I've set up all the various chests and stuff of the useful items, such as uh, the various picks and etc potions but really what this uh, thing's about uh, is to demonstrate some of the uh, uh, well let's just say have a look at the two uh, blaze xp farms oh we got some visitors go go yeah, some Blaze XP farms, which, uh, oh, holy crap, who was that? Oh, it's you. Well, that was a surprise. Yeah, <laughs> my game sounds sound very loud. Yeah, it seems to be defaulting up to that. Oh, okay, anyway. So this is uh, the official spawn into the nether when I first uh, moved out here. All I could see was essentially this ocean of lava. Jump, 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 you can do it, bye bye. Um, this ocean of lava and uh, essentially all I had there was the, uh, the portal there. So uh, quickly I had to make... Uh, a little protective thing here. Uh, this is the path that I first took uh, to find my first blaze spawners. It was pretty much uh, up here. Um, it, we just go up here. And, ooh. and pretty much as soon as I came through here, I saw, oh, there's some nether structures over there. So, uh, I had to go and investigate. And, you know, the usual thing, you're walking around and trying to find uh, the blaze spawners that you're looking for. Getting shot by ghasts. And uh, very quickly I discovered that uh, there were two in very close proximity to each other. And uh, I'll just show you those now. Well, I'll show you roughly where they're located. So as you can see, in here, that's the first blaze spawner that I came across. And in here, there's another one. Unfortunately, the distance is apart where that they uh, were too far apart to actually find a spot. Whoops. Find a spot where the... Uh, where you could stand. Go away. There we go. That'll teach him. Ah, infinite, infinite bow. Won't let me pick up the arrow. Um, yeah, so uh, I put the, um, th there was no place I could stand where the, uh, both the blaze spawners would be active. So that was a bit of a, a bit of a disappointment, but, uh, you know, these things are, you, you try and make the best of whatever situation you have. 
But uh, after Ika had uh, shown his blaze spawn design, um, couldn't help but to want one of my own. So pretty much followed his uh, his uh, plans letter for letter. Now all of this was in an open area, uh, as you can expect, and it was a challenge to you know build and uh, uh, all this structure around it to protect the uh, to protect the uh, redstone circuitry from gas explosions etc and um, anyway so I built all that and uh, it was pretty much a vanilla design I mean if you look at it it looks exactly the same as Ethos I mean down to the nether brick even and the 23 repeaters in the back to do the timing so um, well you know I mean that's all well and good but uh, you have to put a bit of your own touch on it and uh, one of the things I did was to replace all the glass that uh, Etho used and just to use the nether fence and it works pretty well um, you can see through the uh, the holes and see all the blaze spawning uh, and it gives you uh, reasonable visibility but the one thing I didn't like about Etho's design was the fact that the uh, top uh, spawning area uh, uh, is this entire row of uh, nether brick which goes right around the perimeter uh, which is controlled by these four pistons. Now Ether even said in his video that he was being cheap that you could actually do a, a row on the top there of uh, more pistons to knock the uh, blaze further down quicker but uh, he chose to not to do that and one of the things I s quickly found in this design was the fact that uh, the blaze would spawn on this top row and just basically circle around quite frustrating when all you want to do is kill them and grab their XP and their blaze rods so uh, I thought well I've got this other one just down the road here and uh, so I went about that process of enclosing this entire thing which again was a frustrating thing to getting blasted by ghasts and the like and, but um, I got there I did it and uh, uh, but this time uh, I'm not sure that you can see from here but uh, but this time I uh, I decided to do a slight alteration now I'm not sure if you can see in here but there are actually the top uh, row of spawning spaces uh, or have pressure plates on them and there are six one two three four five six uh, sticky pistons per side so whereas Etho's design which is over that way um, was basically what I call a zero four two uh, blaze XP farm based on the standard uh, ice cream cone variety that uh, Etho des designed. I did a variation here which I call a 642. So six uh, on the top layer, four in the middle, and two at the, down below. Now, of course, it makes it a bit longer, um, but I was still finding that uh, even with uh, standing here on the bottom row here, that uh, Blaze was still uh, working fine, uh, no, as in spawning fine. Uh, as you can see in my uh, mild attempt of humor here with the uh, pumpkins uh, just there to keep the blaze interested before they get killed um, of course you can't use pumpkins with sticky pistons uh, but other than that uh, it's it's pretty much a bog standard uh, uh, ice cream cone design it's just got the six at the top but I soon became bored with the uh, with the uh, constant uh, uh, striking of the blaze with a uh, with a, with a with a stone sword. I mean, that was when you've got 500 blaze in here. You don't want to be hitting 500 times. To it, it wears down your hunger. It destroys your uh, your uh, sword. And even with the stone sword, I mean, it's just an extra hassle. So um, I went through and changed all of the uh, 23 repeaters in here to uh, three ticks as opposed to four, and um, just uh, instead of instead of uh, using a stone sword all I did was grab a oops grab a potion of instant damage and um, and I would stand up here and after I'd get uh, say 500 blaze 
uh, I would do this the, the standard crushing routine and then uh, stand back and throw the uh, potion of instant oops potion of uh, instant damage too now I stole that uh, that uh, uh, recipe on the wiki but uh, I was watching one of Good's videos where uh, Good was uh, making a whole bunch of potions for the spider XP farm that they developed and I thought oh that was a much easier way than hitting and having to constantly feed yourself to uh, to uh, uh, replenish your uh, hunger but yeah as I said the, the it, it's it was just a, a variation and it you know, it has a bit of a different look about it you can see here with the six r under underneath are the actual the next row of four and further down again would be the two but uh yeah I'd, seeing all this uh seeing all this uh cobble uh, and uh it you know it, it looks well to me it looks a bit ugly and i always thought gee wouldn't it be cool if you had a uh, a blaze XP farm made entirely of obsidian, wow, well, you know a black XP farm that would be pretty impressive. A pain to make, but impressive nonetheless. So I guess that will be the uh, subject of my next video. Will be oh maybe I'll just give you a quick sneak. Maybe I can just show you a glimpse. A glimpse. I happened. I was like I said. I was unsatisfied. Oh, go away. Where are you? I was unsatisfied, and I wanted. I wanted a black XP farm. I wanted to, to uh, give it another go, but. I was also not happy with the spawning rates and how long you'd have to wait an hour to build up 500 or 480 blaze. And I happen to see in the distance there's more structure over there. Now, is it the same structure or a different structure? So I had to go check it out. And I did. But uh, I guess from there we'll transition into the next video. So thanks for watching this first video. And I hope to see you again soon.